has continuously lived on that block for a long time. His father and his family um, harvested many trees for fencing and other things around the block. So he's looking for some bigger trees to uh, cut down for fencing. And uh, well, there's some, there's some still there, but they're very hard to find, and that's what we we're looking for. Not like um, a live place that hasn't been touched for 30 or 40 years. Um, there are many big, well, there's like one like that. See? I don't want to cut that down, but um, then here's another one here. That there gets you heaps of split posts out of that one. Down the back there, there's a really tall one. Heaps of split posts out of that one. So, uh, I might do a deal with him yet. He pushes, see there's, there's some big trees around here. So, what he might do is he might push some tracks and push some things for me and uh, with his dozer and pre well paid for with trees but while I was there got to talking so the person I bought this block off has owned it for 40 years her and her husband And then we're going to walk in. So, oh, let's walk in. And uh, see what we find. But yeah, apparently this is the road. It's about 100 metres in. Um, and as I said, I've never been there. But you've got to be careful. There's a electric wire over the top. And these... These um, wattles are getting pretty close to that electric wire. I should ring Ergon and tell him that it needs to be cleared pretty soon because, uh, well, yeah, they touch. It'll knock out the neighbor's power, that's for sure. But, oh, yeah, okay. 
So as you can see, it's pretty thick with wattle, but you can sort of see where the road, oh, where the road used to be. And, uh, oh yeah, see, the road used to be up here. There's no way, no way you can see this from the road. But, uh, yeah, apparently this is where they lived and there's a power box down here that's connected to the power somewhere. I went, what? So look, I had to come and find it um, and uh, see where it is. Now, the neighbour said the last time he was down here, you could see where the hut was and you could see, oh, I'd reckon, oh, pigs, pigs have been here. Oh, here it is. Here's a little hut. It's a little, it's a little, it's a little hard to get in there. But yeah, look, it's a log cabin type hut. Apparently this was the toilet and shower here. Oh yeah, they cut down stuff over there. Something's been stripping this bark off of here. Oh, it's dead. It's been falling off by itself. Oh yeah, there it is. There's power to the block. Look, there's an old tin here. There's an old toilet. An old cup. Oh, look at an old... Oh my God, I didn't know this was on here. Look at that. Look at that. Hey. Look at that. That's water. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yep. But, this is what I want to see. Look, there's an electrical connection. Oh my goodness. Look, what's this? Careful. That's power. Well, it's something. Okay. Okay. There's some big pine trees in here. And there's a big old drums but this is what I wanted to see this here see that's still connected it hasn't it's not running down the pole but it's still connected to the power oh it is running down the pole here it is too wasps yep no 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 wasps look OMG! Yeah. Does it turn? No. No, it's disconnected. Probably out on the pole. Main switch and one power, which is there. My goodness, there's power on the block. Gee whiz, look at that. Hey? Yeah. So, oh, there's even a transformer over here, which is what you need on a swirl line. Oh my goodness. Well, there you go. I could do that. Yep, 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 yep. Yeppers, yeppers, yeppers. Hey? Oh, the little, the fuse is out, see? They've pulled the fuse. And that's okay. But it means I can get it connected. I just need to push a track in here. What if I push a track in here? 
Oh my God. Look, it's a, oh. Oh. Chook pen. Look at the chook pen on it. Well, it's all falling down, obviously. But it, uh, it was a log chook pen. Oh my goodness, what's this over here? We got. Oh. Chuck pen in there. We got um oh we do we that's a weight off of a tractor. Right there, look. It's pretty gnarly. We got some yards here. Old yards. And we've got a fenced off area here. I don't know what was in here, but you know what I'm thinking, young fella? Hey? We could set up a camping thing in there where people can come and camp and it can be powered. Oh my goodness. Hey? Little lot of big pine trees. OMG people What is going on here? <whistles> Come on <whistles> Gee you're a good boy Thank you for returning Thank you Gee you're a good boy Hey don't jump Don't jump Stop Stop Thank you so excited for some reason <laughs> it's like the dingoes have been hanging out down here and maybe maybe the dingoes are hanging out down there the old truck pen would probably make a good den wouldn't it well I'm going to have to clear a spot into here now and uh, I'd reckon oh, gee whiz Look at it. Yards. Got trees all growing up through it. Beautiful. But yes. Maybe I can bring the. Oh, careful, big fella. Heaps of old chicken wire around here. You don't want to get that caught, caught up in that. So. But that's interesting. That means I could bring the caravan down here. Oh, so maybe this is where the house was. No, uh, maybe. I'm not sure. Something was here. It looks like floorboards, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Hey? Oh, battery there. Oh, battery. Gnarly old, old dead tree. But yeah, man. I never knew this was here. But yeah, the neighbour said, oh, you know, we were talking about his power. And I said, oh, do you lose power in the storm? Yeah, yeah, we always lose power in the storm. Well, that's what happens with a swear line. Swear lines are notorious for losing power in a storm. So, yeah. Look at that. I could drop the caravan there, hook up the power, hook up some water. I'd have to put in a, a bit of a shed thing to collect water here. I don't know what they're off of. But, uh, oh, there was something over here. What is this? Well, these might have been the dog pens. So, I don't know what that was, was. But see how the, see like this. See? 
maybe the dogs were kept in these little huts you know like tied up and there's an old shirt in there it's an old shirt I don't think it's a yeah it is it's an old shirt thought for a second it might have been a snake skin just a pattern on it yeah. cats would sleep in these there's a few of them around I don't know why yeah, they probably had dogs four or five dogs yeah but that's interesting the power is connected. The power is connected. So, there you go. Well, there you have it. Hey? Hey, big fella. So, I wonder how. So, 30 years ago, this was here. It hadn't been here for 30 years, apparently. So, the pole looks good power looks good the little transformer it's okay it'll probably just need a resistance check make sure that it's okay push it push a road in here I think I'm gonna do that I think I'm gonna do that oh hell yeah I'll park the van just there. I'll push a big fire thing around it so that the, if there's a fire, it doesn't get burnt. And uh, might even be able to rent it out. There's an income. So, yeah, that'll be good. Maybe I could have two or three. Um. Yeah, maybe demountables or something. People are crying out for homes or rentals at the moment. I don't know. I'm 35 minutes from town or 35 kilometres from town. I don't know if people want to live out here, but maybe I could rent it. Rent this block. <laughs> like fence it, rent it. To somebody who wants to go out to the bush. And they can pay me, I don't know, a couple of hundred bucks a week or something to rent 150 acres and they can put their demountable on it and um, do their farming so if you're one of the ones that if you're a person that hey would like to come out to the bush oh I've got a powered block <laughs> oh my goodness didn't know it was here but that's okay I'm enjoying the solar it's very quiet, mind you, so is electricity. Um, but isn't that, how do, I wonder how they got that up there. Would have taken a few blokes to get that up there, I reckon. Maybe that's where all my frogs breed. Don't know, I don't know. But sheesh. All right. There you go, mate. You got yourself a powered block down here. We've got piggies, we've got kangaroos. What else have we got? Thank you. Good boy. Gee, you're a good boy for coming when I call. Gee, you're a good boy. Gee, you're a good boy. Get down. Or you'll get a smack. Yes, so. There we have it. That wouldn't take much to put on. I'm just going to take a photo of the meter number. And then I can talk to Ergon and find out how much it would cost to put the power on. Yep. Sheesh. All right. Well, isn't that amazing? Means I might be able to bring the welder down here once I get it connected and uh, set up a workshop down this end 
that might do and I can do all my welding and machine repairs and all that sort of stuff down here hey but what a surprise a powered meter on the block well that just increased the price if someone wants to buy it <laughs> oh dear oh cliff you're an amazing man anyway so that's uh that's that's interesting very very interesting let me know what you think down in the comments see ya thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe ring the little bell for notifications see you next time